Hi, Soul Family. Um, it's a little late, but I'm going to start um, our reading for the day. I'm going to start with a couple of messages, first of all. <clears throat> um, how important it is that we clear our energy. And when Spirit tells us to clear and block and delete and cut away people from the past, we need to really, really pay attention to that. If you keep getting the message, you know, release your ex, release your ex, and you're thinking, I'm, I, I, I don't, why, why is this happening? I don't understand. I kept getting that. Release your ex, release your ex. And I'm thinking, my ex-husband is married to my best friend. He's a decent guy. I haven't seen him in not even God knows how long. It's not him, right? The other ex married someone. I thought this was a decent person, right? This was somebody who I, I understood to be a spiritual person. Went back to somebody else that was um, a sex addict, um, all kinds of drugs and shit and whatever. It was over, done. I was only with this person a very short time. However, I kept getting all of this connection, all of this energy. Release your ex. All of these people that were writing to me, pretending to be other people. I knew that it, they weren't who they said they were. They knew too much about me. Um, I have prophetic dreams. I dream with other people. My channel was, is very open, right? And I thought, there's just too much. And I kept getting, you know, there's an ex going to come back into your life. He's kind of, he's watching you. He's been stalking you. And I, I knew that. But I was thinking it might have been a different person. I never crossed my mind who it actually was. Remember, I spoke to you guys about dreams that I would have. And it was, I thought what I was watching was gay sex. What it was, was, was sexual addiction. And it was, it was intense. And it was, it was violent. It was disgusting. And I said, you know, it was like it invaded my mind and my life. And I, I didn't want to be a part of that. I didn't want that energy. I wanted my innocence back. You know, I'm not into that. It wasn't gay sex. I, I, it was between this person is a sex addict. This person uses the spiritual community, uses their body to come in and, is, and has all the flowery words. But you got to think about this. Walk their walk and talk their talk. Are they doing what they're supposed to be doing? This person, the person he connected with, she's an open witch, calls herself a witch, openly. She put a, did a psychic attack on me. I've had all kinds of things with this person, and that's who he chose to go back to. So whether, you know, he wants to say, oh, I was under a spell, I don't give a fuck what you were. You chose to go to that because that's in you, that's what you're drawing to you. And so what does she do? She starts up a spiritual page, right? As soon as she got what she wanted, the spiritual page has been shut down. Neither one of them have been doing any spiritual work, anything, in the last several years. But I have had this infecting in my life. And I'm like, what is going on? I get a message from another Facebook friend. Oh, he's back. We'd, we'd love to see you get back together. And I'm like, I know where my twin soul is. I know who he is. I don't want that energy back. Right? I, I, I'm, the person calls my work pretending to be someone else and is wanting a sexual conversation. I said, excuse me. Why are you calling a spiritual teacher asking for guidance? Well, I'm calling a psychic and I want to know. And I said, you know what? This is a bullshit story. I'm done with this. I don't need this. Cancel, block, hung up the phone, called the, the, the company. And I said, look, flag this person. I know who they are. I don't want anything to do with them. Block them. I tried to speak to this person who was a Facebook friend. I try, I've tried for the last couple of years to explain to this person who felt that it was their duty to help men on their spiritual path. This person who is married. I said, it isn't your job to help married men when you are a married woman. You're crossing boundaries. You're stepping outside of your marriage in the guise of spirituality. Just like this person is stepping outside of, in, in, into other people's relationships and into other people's lives under the guise of spirituality. There's a lot of people that will use the spiritual community to get in and fuck with your head. And once they get into your energy, they're there. Now, I was with this person. I dated this person for a very brief time before my twin soul came back. And I don't care. I don't care if this person has all these issues because of his girlfriend or the person he chose to go back to, but we went back to sleep. And now he's back again. And, and this person that was with me is exchanging pictures with him. Come to tell me that this person had sent her naked pictures of himself, has a completely different profile. I'm like, what? All of these things about this person, I had no idea. This person that I dated, I dated briefly, but I thought he was a wonderful person. I thought he was a very spiritual person that got corrupted by his ego and went back to sleep. He told me he's chosen to go back to sleep before. People use the spiritual community. We are empaths. We are marks if we are not aware. So I wake up this morning with all of this from yesterday and I'm thinking, this is heavy. You know, I'm waking up. I don't feel very good. And I thought, I don't want to do my reading and put out negative energy. So I looked over at my fish tank, Panu, which is a... Uh, a Siamese fighting fish, and then I've got Merlin behind him, right? I've put so much emphasis on Merlin's tank, and I thought, my landlord came in and said, how's Panu doing? 
and I said, I should probably clean Mer Panu's tank. And I looked around the bottom, and there was mold. Spirit's been talking about this, the mildew fairy. There's mild mildew somewhere. You need to clean it out. It can be toxic. It was showing me this energy of this person. This is, I haven't been with this person in five years. Five years I haven't been with this person. And yet, that that person, even though they were in a relationship with someone else, has been stalking my page, coming to me, pretending to be other people, because the energy was in me, right? And I didn't cut cords with this thinking, I thought this was a decent person. I had no idea. Spirit kept telling me, cut cords, cut cords with your ex. Didn't know who it was, right? But it's in my own tank. It's in my own arena. And then this person who was a Facebook friend, I've said to her, look, you know, I, I, I don't like to block people and, and, and cut people out of my life, you know, especially when, you know, they're trying, but she's not trying. I said, I've explained to you over and over again, and you refuse to understand that you are drawing this to you. You are doing this to your marriage. The problems between you and your husband are you. You're drawing it to you. And as I'm speaking out loud, I'm saying, I'm drawing it to me by allowing this bullshit in my life. And I said, I'm blocking you. I don't need this energy, but... but from this ex from five years ago, before my twin and I even came back together, to get between us and block us. This morning, I saw a bear, a picture of a bear holding on to a moon. And I looked at it and I said, oh, mama bear protection. I am a, a Pisces moon. My twin is a Pisces, right? My twin is Virgo in his chart. That's Earth. When I looked at it, I saw something beautiful. But the author said, he calls it, he called it imprisoned. And I looked at it again and I said, there's something wrong. I'll show it to you guys. So my first thought was love, right? Because what I felt between that person that I dated, I thought this person was a decent person. This is the picture. And here in the background on the radio, it's saying wicked. See this bear holding on to this moon? Well, the person, the ex in my life, he called himself the bear. Okay? So I said, I found this picture. Artist. Christopher Nay, when I looked at it, I immediately thought the bear is holding on to the goddess, which is the truth, divine feminine. But then I heard, no, mama bear protection holding on to your moon. And I thought, what? I felt love. And that mama bear holding that moon lovingly help it gently to rise. I'm an Aries in a Pisces moon. I am the mama bear. My spiritual twin is a Pisces in a Virgo moon, which was represented by the bear. Okay. So what I see is myself, the divine feminine, loving my Pisces moon of myself as well as my spiritual twin, as well as my spiritual twin as the Virgo, loving me and holding on to me. However, there is a warning that another may be holding on to us both, preventing us from rising together. Spirit kept telling me, you have someone in your way. There's someone blocking your way. Release your ex. I'm blaming this other person in Wisconsin. It had nothing to do with him. It's this guy. It's this guy. Time to cut cords. It's trying to prevent us from rising together. So release the past. Any ex or any energy that wants to stop you from rising. However, you can no more hold back the rise of that moon than you can hold back the ocean when it's time to move. Do you understand? Now, what I'm looking at here is this is a brittle old bear, right? This is a brittle bear. Those branches are about ready to break. They, bear, they cannot contain the energy of this divine goddess. That person could never contain the energy of this divine goddess. That's why we split. He wasn't strong enough for me. My twin was coming, right? That, those branches are about to break. They're very, very brittle. This, this is worn away. Right? This is very brittle. This is my story. What is your story? There's a message in it. I went to my fish's tank. I took him out. I took Panu. I'll show you. This is very, very important for all of us right now because Spirit has been bringing this message again and again. So I came into this tank and I, and I cleaned out the gravel. The peaceful Buddha. My twin is a peaceful Buddha. Okay? There's no more. There was mold down at the bottom of this gravel. Now, even in Merlin's tank, I'm going to have to go underneath and clean out his tank. The water's looking murky again, right? But I've had so much emphasis and so much worry focusing on my divine masculine, my Merlin, my dragonfish, that, my, that I was being ignored. This is me. This is a representation of me. So I clean the tank out. I put an extra carbon filter. See that little bag hanging there? This tank is not warm enough. This water is not warm enough. This heater is not working for him. So what I need to do until I get to the store to buy another heater 
is I'm going to take the heater out of my dragonfish. Hold on, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take it out of my dragonfish's tank and I'm going to put it in with my Pisces, which is me. I am the Pisces. He needs, she needs her tank to be warmed up. Because right now there is no, there's no heat in this tank. This, 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 this is broken. I need to take it back. So there's something that's not being, something that's not working, right? So there goes the heat. So I'm going to heat up his tank. I'll have to go to the other store and unplug this one. But there's messages in all of this. So I'm putting so much emphasis worrying about the dragonfish that, that I'm freezing, right? I'm giving all this love and heat and warmth to the dragonfish and I'm freezing. There's mold in my tank, right? There's mold. He's up at the top trying to stay warm because it's cold here. I, I literally wrap this, this heater, I mean this, this tank, and wrap it in this blanket at night because I knew he wasn't getting enough heat. So now that's all been cleared out. I'm going to heat up the tank so he gets a little bit of warmth. I'm going to run out and buy another field, another heater for him so that they're both getting the warmth that they need. But there was something that was wrong, right? Spirit kept saying, there's mildew in your house. Where is it? Where is it? Sometimes we have an ex connected to us. We don't even know. I didn't have my, my energy connected to him. My energy wasn't connected to him. His energy was connected to me. He never let me go. He never let me go. And there was a problem lines across my face. Do you see those lines across my face? Where are they coming from? So strange. See that? That's so strange. Someone's crossing my boundaries, I gotta tell you. And I'm done with it. I mean, his girlfriend was a witch and he was fucking with the spiritual community and then he came through that other person and I tried to say to her, I don't want anything to do with him. I don't want his energy here. I don't want it. He's, he's a sex addict. I've watched him. She starts to tell me all these things about him, what he would do and what his girlfriend liked and how they would film one another. And she's telling me all this. And I'm like, that's what I watched in my dreams. And I'm like, you're having, you're having these conversations with him and you're a married woman and you don't understand that there's a problem with that. It's not for me to fix you. And spirit had said to me, block, cut, block. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be harsh. Right? So I tried to explain it again today. She didn't get it. She kept saying, well, she just sent him a picture of herself and he says, well, I don't have a picture to send to you yet. I got to get myself cut and ripped. I'm just kind of getting back into the spiritual community, right? I'm getting, and I'm thinking, yeah, you're just getting back into the spiritual community because you got dumped again by your sex addict, right? And now you're going to come back in and use the spiritual community and, and you need to get cut and ripped before you can send her a facial of yourself. She didn't ask you for a dick pic and she goes, oh, well, I stopped that because, you know, he did send me a picture of himself naked. And I'm like, what? He sent you a picture of himself naked. You never told me that. This is somebody that you knew that you were trying to get me back together with this guy. Done. It's not our responsibility to fix other people. And I, I didn't want, I said to her, I'm going to block you. I said, spirit has been telling me that there is something that's blocking you and your twin. And it's a friend. You need to understand. And I was, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand. I didn't want to be harsh. Remember spirit kept saying, I, you don't want it. You want, you need to pick up the sword, but you, that's not in you. You don't have that energy. You don't want to cut people off, but the time has come. My boundaries have been crossed. That man called my work pretending to be someone else on a chat line. I know that energy. And it's like, oh my God, you know, my filter, I need a double carbon filter. That, that little fish tank has a filter in it, but it's not strong enough to all of this energy. And once we open up as channels, we need to cut back and show that. I kept getting from spirit, um, tone it down, tone it down. And I thought maybe they were saying I was getting too aggressive, too upset with her, too angry. No, because then after the, on the radio, it said wicked. It said wicked. And it said, you need to cleanse this. You need to cut this. It's wicked energy. And I said to the person, before I blocked them, I gave them an opportunity. And I said, look, I don't need anything coming between my twin and I. Nothing is going to stop the rise. But it's been fucking us up because I needed to learn this. Right? And I said, I don't want a connection to him. I don't want a connection to his witch girlfriend. I don't want a connection to any of this, this, this overt uh, sex uh, addiction. I don't want a connection to you and your husband and your three ways that you did. I, I don't want a connection to any of it. This is not my path. And I said to the person who wrote to me, or who was writing on the chat line, on my psychic hotline, why are you calling a spiritual teacher for guidance on this subject? It was all sexual. 
I said, this is either a bullshit story or you're not understanding, but I'm not doing this anymore. And I hung up. I, the person was on the line with me for 28 minutes. That's a big call. I could have stayed on there for hours if I wanted to be a hooker and sit there like I was some kind of a prostitute on a phone call, a sex call, but that's not my path. I don't want this energy. So I called the company and I said, block them, flag them. You know, I don't make my money as a prostitute talking sex online to sex addicts. And so the connection I saw, this brittle bear, this bear no longer will hold this moon down. My Pisces or myself, it's broken. You can see that this person is broken, right? It's not my job to fix them. Clearly they haven't figured themselves out yet. But the first thing you do is not say, oh, you know, as soon as I get my body cut, I'll send you a picture. This woman is married. You know, there are, there are boundaries. And where are her boundaries when it comes to her husband? I'm sorry. Oh, it's my job to help men find their spiritual path. No, it isn't your job to help men find their spiritual path. It's your job to work and be loyal to your husband, period. So when people start showing themselves, whether it's a friend or a family, this is a Facebook friend. I don't know this person. You know, they've been friends with me on Facebook for God knows, probably eight years. But Spirit's definitely been saying, cut the cords, right? Cut the cords. So, you know, it really sucks because as I said, when, we, when you have prophetic dreams, my girlfriend's having dreams too. Her and I are dreaming together. I dream with a lot of people. You know, I dream with my clients. Clearly my channel is too open, right? And when we get tired, we get run down. And if we don't realize our channel, she says, why am I dreaming these things? I said, I don't know, but I'm dreaming with you. So clearly our channel is too open and we need protection. I was told yesterday, I kept being drawn to the shungite, right? Black shungite, which is for protection. Um, black kyanite for protection. Black, black. I, I'm thinking, why do I keep being drawn to black? Why is it that I dress in black? I dress in black not because I'm a witch, because I need protection from the psychic vampires that are out there that breed and prey, prey on the spiritual community. So be aware, okay? Your exes may have cords wrapped around you. They are manipulating situations. It's not necessarily that you have an ex that you need to release. They haven't released you. They've got their own reasons, you know? They had fantasies between the two of them with me. No thanks, I'm not involved in that. And I don't need my spiritual twin to look at that and feel that energy and think that it's me. Because there's no room for anyone but him in my life, none. So, uh, and I don't wanna hear anybody say, oh, you sound angry. I'm very angry, I am, I'm very angry. I'm angry, so I'm blowing it off, but I'm getting this out there because other people need to see it. And other people need to hear it. There's other people besides myself that are being affected this way. I would never in a million years, in a million years, have thought that about my ex. Never. I thought it about the girl that he went to, but think about this. You draw to you who you are, right? People make mistakes, yes, but he chose to go back to that, knowing what that person was. Sexual addiction. I don't have anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it. Thank you very much. Stay far from me. I blocked him. Um, so I, I heard the fairy tale oracle, and I'm going to give you guys some items to choose from. Okay. The first, the first is going to be the horse, right? Forward movement, peace, calm, healing. The second is going to be the spiritual teacher getting all this bullshit out of her head, right? So there you are, naked and vulnerable. This is going to be fire signs. This is going to be earth signs. This is going to be air signs, which is the red hawk. Water signs are, <laughs> there's my babe right there. The water signs are going to be the sky, okay? Water signs of the sky. So let me write this down. Not in a million years would I have thought that that person was the one that was causing all of these problems in my life. I never saw that person in that light. I just, I saw the good only. We, all, we often only see the good in people. I'm sure he's not inherently evil, but you, but he is using the spiritual community. God, unbelievable. People, that they use their body. You know, he's got an amazing body. A body that would, you know, it's amazing. It was, it's not now. He's got to get himself back into shape, I guess. God knows what happened. But <laughs> they'll use anything, you know, attention seekers. I need attention. I desperately need attention. This is somebody who can never be alone, right? Always has to have someone there. I didn't spent five years 
celibate, five years improving myself, getting myself stronger in order to allow that energy into my life to fuck my life up, I know where my life is going, right? So this is for all of you guys. It's not just me. This is really important. So, okay, right now we've, we're going to use the horse. Um, the horse, the calming horse. Who do we see? So the fire signs are the woman. Fire signs. The, her, the, the, the sky is water. Sky is water. Air is the, the red hawk. That's very interesting. Air, red hawk, and the horse is earth. Okay. It was very confusing because my twin is a, Pis um, a Pisces, yes, but he's in a Virgo moon. And this other person, I kept getting that there's an Aries, an Aries that's causing problems between you and Aries. And I'm like, who, who? I'm thinking it's in his life. That ex of mine is an Aries. It's an Aries. And I kept getting the emperor in reverse. Oh, God. So it's confusing, right? And he calls himself the bear. So the bear, you know, earth, and it was too, yeah, not good. Okay, and the song right now. I see her take off my dress. It's driving me crazy, the song. Jealousy, jealousy. It started out with a kiss. I see this, I see that. See, that's the problem. I saw things too. I saw things in my dreams. And I thought what I was watching was my twin's life and I was so angry. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's probably watching what he thinks is my life and it isn't my life. It's this other energy that was connecting that was that was blocking and, and putting these things in. Oh God, you guys, it happens to everybody. So we have to be very careful. So I just got, um, they just threw the fairy tale oracle out, right? And they, they're showing us shadows and light. So we're going to the oracle of shadows and light. Uh, what we'll do, however, is we'll start with the singing bowl, right? Whoops. We'll start with the singing bowl to clear our energy. And it's interesting, I started this reading before, before I got the final um, messages and before I realized that it's time for me to delete this, this person, this woman. She was the connection. She lives in Florida, right? And I kept getting that there was a connection in Florida um, with my twin's family or whatever it was. I don't know. It just didn't make sense to me. That's been the connection the whole time. And, and, I, and, and I, th I thought this person was a friend. And, it's, and, and unfortunately for this person, they'll, they'll probably watch this video on YouTube and, and be offended or be hurt. Or be, but, but I can't fix it for you until you figure it out. You can't be in my energy because you're, you're ruining my energy, my connection between the love of my life and myself. And I won't allow it. It's my spiritual community and it's not okay. It's my job to cut the cord. So you figure it out on your own and uh, I wish you well on your journey, but you're not in my life anymore. So correct for neutrality. Um, let me turn down the, the radio just a little bit. You want to come up here, Liger? What do you want? Do you want to come up on the chair? There you go. Lay down. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I've got like... Hold on. Relax. Here you go. Here you go. Here's energy. See, my energy's all, all whipped up, so... All right, let me turn this down. When you love someone, you open up your heart. When you love someone, you make room. But you can't really be making room and opening up your heart when you're getting confused by the things that you're watching and when the energy is toxic. And it's our responsibility to make sure that we take the steps necessary to clear our energy. Now, Spirit did this. You know, everything's happening in divine timing, right? I, I'm hearing and understanding things when I'm meant to, but the point, the point that I'm getting is Never in a million years would I have understood or believed that this person that I actually loved, I grew to love that man. I, I had nothing but wonderful things to say about this person. I had no idea what his real life was. <clears throat> no idea the things that he had done. None. And would never have thought that that energy, that toxic energy was coming from him. Makes me very sad. Okay, here we go.
sorry about the banging around and the noise and all that. I realized that when I did the singing bowl the other day, look at 21, I'm graduated from all that bullshit. 21, <laughs> two and one, three, full circle completion and the Ascended Master's working with me. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. He's the one who's been coming to me. I've been seeing the flower of life everywhere, everywhere. He's amazing. I realized that when I did the singing bowl the last time, I, I hit the bowl too quickly in between. There wasn't enough time for it to resonate. Did you notice the last resonation was the longest? It was beautiful. So that was to clear the energy and bring us to a place of peace and calm. Um, what, what was said absolutely was vital to have been said. And, it, and uh, we, all, we all know that I timestamp. So if anybody didn't want to listen to this, they're perfectly capable of moving forward to the next. And uh, if you don't like it, I don't care. It was meant to be said. Okay? So here we go. We're going to go to start with fire signs. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Fire signs are the woman that's clearing the voices in her head. Okay? She's not necessarily even clearing the voices in her head. She's saying, no, I'm protecting my crown. No, I'm protecting my crown. I'm staying in a place of peace. I am open. I am vulnerable. I am naked. When you love someone, you let them in. You make room, right? I'm open, but I'm protecting my crown. I'm protecting my crown from that raven. That raven, I told you yesterday there was a raven following me. This person, this sexual predator, he calls himself the raven. Every time I looked, the raven didn't speak. The only time the raven spoke was when he emphasized things yesterday. And that was the raven that was about magic and miracles. Pay attention. Your, your totem messengers can be a negative and a positive, right? The message they deliver. So, yes, be open, vulnerable, exposed, but protect yourself at the same time. I'm upon the horse that's moving forward. I'm upon this earthy horse, not the bear. This is forward movement. This is spiritual connection. This is healing. I am safe in a place of openness, okay? We don't have to worry that we're not safe. We just have to protect ourselves. We have to understand how to do it. We have to understand that we use our crystals for protection as long as we understand who we have to protect ourselves from. If that means doing things that we don't like to do, like blocking people, cutting people off. I've told that person, I tried to explain it again and again, it wasn't getting through. The next thing was cutting it off. Whether it's a friend, a family member, it doesn't matter. My spiritual energy, my connection to my twin, a clear connection, and my personal, physical, emotional well-being and health is of primary importance. Songs right now, the ghosts are calling you home. Ghosts are calling you home. So ghosts of the past, sometimes they show up in order for you to find out what it is that you need to finish that didn't get finished, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. Those who chose the... The woman or fire signs? Well, there you go. Voodoo and blue. Back off. How many times have we gotten this message? How many times have we gotten this message? You are not liking someone. You're not liking their energy. They're crossing your boundaries. You have tried to be nice. You don't like to be somebody that cuts people off. You don't like to be somebody who brings out the sword. But they are being told to stay away by spirit. Spirit is saying, if you have a problem saying this, we don't. Right? 21 says, I graduated. This is 22. We're taking it to the next step. You understand, Sherry? You got it? Well, we're telling you it's time to eradicate. It's time to end this 100%. Get it out of your energy. So this is, this is fire signs. All of us. This isn't just me. This is fire signs. There is an energy in your field that needs to be eradicated. Okay? Now the person that I was connected to, he has become an abuser. He's connected to that energy, which is causing possibly him to make bad choices. That was a decent person when I was with him. But our, you show me your friends, I'll show you who you are. In the Bible, there's a scripture that says bad association spoils useful habits. Yes, it does. You, fire sign, he is also an Aries. That person, that one, the ex of mine is an Aries. So here's a message to you, right? Right now, you're attracting attention from people that are opportunistic. That's me. 
They're giving me a message, right? Sometimes they want to help you. Oh, you know, let's do this, let's do that. Spiritual community, wrong. Stay away is what you want. You don't want them to come to dinner. You don't want to go out with them. You don't want to meet them. You don't want them anywhere the fuck near you. You want them to give you space. You want them to go away. Despite, it's like, and I'm not speaking about him right now. I'm speaking about her. I've tried and tried and tried, right? I want to be a decent person. I want to be a kind person. But the energy is toxic. And I can't convince this person that she is drawing this to herself. And in a sense, it's telling me I am as well. So for you guys, it's draining you, it's irritating you, it's pushing your buttons. What do you do? Cut it off. Cut it off. It's getting hot. You can be respectful like I tried to be. If they don't get the hint, then you get firmer. If they still don't get the hint, you pull the plug. Pull the plug. Okay? Next message. That's for all fire signs. Now what I want to do is I want to break it down so that everybody can get... Um, clarification and I'm trying to see how it would be best I guess we'll use the relationship cards they're not super super complicated and it can give us basically um, a different maybe a perspective of how okay I'm gonna have to do male and female clarifiers I just am because I'm an Aries and so is my ex. So if I say, hey, this is for an Aries, you know, is it me or him? So it's going to be male and female clarifiers. God, this is going to take forever. Okay. No, it's not, Spirit. You're going to show me how to do this quick. So we're going to start with uh, fire signs and we're going to start with Aries. And then we'll go to Sagittarius. Then we'll go to Leo. We'll do male, female. Okay? So Aries, male. How does this apply to you in your life? The voodoo and blue. How does it apply in your life? Aries, male. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I probably should have used a tarot card deck. Mm, I just heard no. Okay. So correct for neutrality on all levels. We'll figure it out. Spirit will help us. Males. Um, because it may not even be that the toxic energy is my ex. Although, yes, I was being told cut the cords. Definitely. I mean, I don't want him in my life. But um, it could be her. Right? I don't know. We'll see. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Uh, male. Fire signs. So male fire sign, Aries, male, male Aries, you've got, um, you've got somebody that's, that's basically um, overstepping your boundaries, pushing your buttons, draining your energy, and you want them to tell them to go away, right? So you need to take action. You need to build a bridge to where you are, from where you are for, to where you want to be, right? Trust your abilities to take charge of your life and take action right now. There's no time to mess around. That's male Aries. Female Aries, how does this apply in your life? Correct for neutrality. Song in the background, I want to be a billionaire. So bad. Somebody focused on money. Correct for neutrality. Females. Female Aries. The voodoo in blue. How does that apply in your life? Now, this could be you or somebody in your life, right? This could be somebody may want you to back off. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Voodoo in blue. Aries. Correct for new Aries females. Tell me when, spirit. Now. Okay. Aries females. The voodoo in blue. Breakthrough. <laughs> so here you see this one. She's fucking knocking it out of the park, which is what I just did. Knock that red ball out of the park. As you break through old barriers, new paths and options are revealed. Congratulations. This marks a quantum leap forward for you. So for me, blocking both of them was knocking it out of the park. I made a breakthrough. That's the message. Aries females, the voodoo in blue, for you to figure out what this is and take action on it, you've made a breakthrough. Old barriers. I have no barrier anymore. That was a barrier. It was a weak barrier, and I just cut it, right? Um, new paths and options will be available. So when we get that blockage out of our way, Spirit said when I was on the way up to the mountain, the message that we got in our reading was, there are no blocks, there are no barriers in your way anymore. The only barrier you have is yourself. So my connection was that energy, letting that in, right? So that was for Aries, <coughs> female and male. So now we go to um, Sagittarius. Correct for neutrality, how does it affect the male Sagittarius? Friendship. 
The value of a true friend is priceless. Whether they begin there or you end up there, friendship is the foundation for any enduring relationship. So your, your energy, you're telling a friendship. There's either, there's a toxic friendship in your life, male Sagittarius. Pressing your, pressing your buttons, draining your energy, crossing your boundaries that you need to tell them to back off. This is I, one of my first messages that I, that I posted this morning. I think I only posted two. I posted three things today. Some people will never like you because your spirit irritates their demons. There go, I said, well, that goes well with my intention this year and the rest of my journey here to stay, to stay, hold on. Obviously, I did this on my cell phone this morning, so it did it wrong. You know, autocorrect, right? Hold on a second. Which is another message. If you need to have something done, you need to do it yourself. Stay here to recognize <coughs> the difference between friends and fiends. Now, you may call somebody a friend, but if they're bringing toxic energy into your arena, they're a fiend. They're not your friend. Look up the meaning of the word fiend. An evil spirit or a demon is a fiend. Wicked or a cruel person, a beast, a monster, an evildoer, a swine. That's negative energy, right? So learn to recognize the difference between a friend and a fiend. So Sagittarius men, it's about a fiend or a friend. You figure it out. It's pretty obvious to me, my age. So then we go to Sagittarius women. Voodoo and blue, how does it apply for you? Fearlessness. Fear is simply a decision that you make to think fearful thoughts. If you're stuck in fear now, challenge yourself to reach a thought that feels better. You can take control of what you think. So now somebody's pushing your buttons. Somebody is draining your energy. Somebody is inappropriately crossing your boundaries and you're, it's making you frightened. You don't have to be afraid. I'm not afraid of him. I'm not afraid of her. I just needed to take action. You need to know that you are protected. Stuck in fear. Fear is false expectations appearing real. So don't be afraid to cut people off. Don't be afraid to disconnect, to detach. You're staying awake at night. Something's keeping you awake at night. This might be what the reason is, but you have no reason for fear. Leos, male Leos, how does this affect you and your energy? Hold on, I gotta take a drink of my Chia water. Have you ever seen those, um, the water bottles that have, that, are, that have the crystals in them? They're really cool, they're like 40 bucks. Well, I got this water bottle and I put my own crystal in it. It's good because it helps shake up my chia and my um, the other item like the, my apple cider vinegar. And it cost me the bottle was three ninety nine at the second hand store. Look at it, I love it. If I drop it, it doesn't smash because it's rubber. I dropped kept everything unfortunately, and my crystal didn't cost me anything. My mom's little amethyst crystal. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Gosh, I just can't get over the fact that the one that was coming at me all this time was this person. I've had somebody writing to me for three three years, at least, at pretending to be other people, and, and it wasn't them. Oh my God. Correct for neutrality on all levels. If somebody can't come to you with a real name and a real face, they're wearing a mask, they're a fiend, they're not a friend. <clears throat> Leos, how does this apply to you? Surrender. Surrender your expectations, your plans, and your fears. This is Leo men. Instead, follow cues. Take inspired action and stay alert. The divine plan for your life is far better than anything you could ever imagine. So you have a fear or somebody's crossing your boundaries. Um, maybe you don't have a fear. They're just crossing your boundaries. You're not liking them. They're draining your energy. Energy. The whole issue is draining your energy. It's pushing your buttons. It's making you feel bad. And spirit says, surrender it to spirit. You know what? Do what you need to do, right? Follow your cues, take inspired action, and then stay open. And then you say to spirit, all right, I did what I was supposed to do. You handle the rest. Now, if this person is supposed to understand and figure it out, they'll find a different way to get to let me know that. At this moment, those two are blocked out of my life. I will always block to protect myself first. So for you, the divine plan for your life is better than you could possibly imagine. So take your cues, take inspired action, and then surrender it to spirit. Let them handle the rest of it. Leo women, how does this affect your life? <clears throat> um, 
I've always called my twin the love of my life, right? And this person that's talking speaks about the day that my twin and I saw one another. We saw one another, spirit organized it. We met up at an outside air bar and he said something to me that I believe was a lie. Maybe it wasn't, but I walked away from him. And he said, I saw you with that other guy. He looked like he was pretty cool. You know, I say, I'm happy that you're not around, but that's just because I'm not around. You're not, I'm not around. And you say you're happy because I'm not around, but that's because I'm not around. And I'm sorry that I let you down. I would have given you anything. Don't you know you're the love of my life? Well, we're both the love of each other's lives. So there are no more blockages except for ourselves. So remove the blockage and speak. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Belief. This is Leo women. Ask yourself, does this belief limit me or empower me? If you're ready for change, you must update and embrace only the beliefs that support your true heart's desires. Somebody's pushing your buttons. Somebody's not liking you. Somebody you're not liking. Somebody's not liking you is what I just heard. That's interesting. So it's for you, Leo women. Right now, a change needs to happen. You're holding on to this love. Song right now, I heard that you met someone. I guess she gave you things that I didn't give you. Old friend. Why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from the light. I guess I'll find someone like you. Please don't forget me. So you're holding on to love here. It's, li it's limiting you. It's clearly not empowering you. So voodoo and blue. Somebody's asking you to stay back. According to this message, for, for some Leo females, you're being asked to stay back. Back off. They're not liking your energy. You're pushing their buttons. You're crossing their boundaries. They don't want it. It's not helping you. Now, for other Leo women, if this isn't happening in your life, there's somebody that's doing this to you. Is it helping you? Is it empowering you what you're doing, this situation or what they're doing? Update and embrace what works for you because right now it's not working. I'm getting it it's in reverse. I'm getting that there's somebody that wants, doesn't want this anymore and you're not respecting their boundaries. You're not respecting, you're pushing and you're sucking their energy. That's what I'm getting. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't have any Leo females except for my best friend, Diane, in Wisconsin, and it's not about her. So it's not a personal message. I'm delivering Spirit's message. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sky, which is water signs. Okay? Yesterday was the time of our lives. They grew up together, and it's over. It's overlapping with water signs. So maybe a Leo and a water sign. Leo, this is your message from the water sign. It's over. I hate to turn up out of the blue unexpected. <laughs> okay. Um, air signs. No, water signs. I'm sorry. The sky. Who chose the sky? <clears throat> the sky looks turbulent right now. Right now. It's clouded. There's a lot of blue, though. There's a lot of truth in that sky. And there's a red hawk flying in that sky. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Water signs or the sky. Your message is. Release your power. This dress should be 100% gold. But right now it's covered in toxic energy. Right? This is the divine masculine behind you. Not in front of you. Your power is behind you. The number is 33. There are ascended masters working with you. Three twice. A third party situation twice comes to mind. Three. It's also a very powerful spiritual number for women. You've got power. You've either got a three-headed monster inside that bottle that you need to release, which is your power, or you've got a three-headed monster that you have finally put a bottle in and cork it. Put that Put it in the bottle and cork it because this is toxic energy. This is like Cinderella and this is like ash and soot stuck to you. Have you ever like doing that? I have, I have my sage wands, right? I know when I go around, you've got to keep a dish underneath the sage as it falls because it's, it's that black soot. It gets on everything, right? And it's like you've got soot all over you, completely covering up your sacred symbols. If you look close, your dress is completely covered in sacred symbols, but you can barely see them because you've allowed this toxic energy to, to build up on you. Now, it's either com it's coming at you from the outside. A lot of times we can pollute our own selves as well, right? <clears throat> There's double emphasis on this for water signs, double emphasis. So you have vibrant energy, powerful energy. Look at the all-seeing eyes behind you on both sides, right? 
To whom much is given, much is expected. You have responsibility. You have responsibility. But there's destructive patterns that you're repeating again and again, or you're allowing to, to come and erode your energy field, which could be other people's destructive patterns. Blame, ridicule, judgment. You're doing this to yourself, or others are doing this to you. Whatever it is, they're fucking up your energy. They're completely covering your energy. You aren't able to release this power that you have within you when you've got this around on the outside. It's the same thing as that tank. I went in there and I had to scrub the sides of the wall to get that shit off the walls, right? So right now, Spirit is telling you that these symbols, this light in you, it's bursting out. It's time for you to shine. Sacred geometry. You're seeing, I've been seeing the flower of life everywhere. Archangel Metatron is trying to work with you at this time. And you can't hide. You, you may have been hiding behind this Cinderella syndrome, right? This isn't who you are. And there's no cloak now. The all-seeing eyes of the owl, they're lifting that cloak from off of you. And they're telling you to clear your energy. Now, if this is you that's doing this to you, this is jealousy, this is fear or guilt. That er erodes you. Remember, oh my God, jealousy, jealousy. I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that. And then that jealousy causes these issues. When in all reality, that may not even have happened to what you th think has happened. When I watched the sexual, perverted sexual shit that I watched happening, wasn't my twin. It was somebody else that I was connected with five years ago. So you may be jealous over something that isn't even who you think it is. Whatever it is, jealousy is a weakness. It's not a strength. So right at this time, you need to clear this energy field, right? And when it's bright and when it's filled with love and courage and positivity and optimism and all of the things that a spiritual person who is awakened has, wisdom, then you start drawing to you the right people, the right situations. And the shit starts to fall away. Just like some people never will like you, will never like you because your spirit irritates their demons. Good. We want to shake the demons off. We want to get them like lice and stick them in that bottle because they're, you're in your psychic antennae, which is your hair. We want to comb them out of there, right? Wash that man right out of my hair. Wash that woman right out of my hair. Get rid of this lice, right? So then you will start seeing the signs and you will understand when you start cutting away the toxic energy and the energy vampires, the big main leaks, then you're going to start seeing things correctly. You're going to start that. And then that's not the only change. These ones, these the ones that, that the demons, the, the demons, the fiends, those fiends are going to drop away. Not your friends. The fiends will drop away. They won't like what you have to say. They'll just go away on their own. You won't even have to kick them off of you. They're going to fall away naturally. Okay? So now we start with Pisces. How does the dress of alchemy, the power, the release your power, how does it apply in your life? Correct neutrality on all levels. Pisces. How does it apply in your life? These cards are really hard. Like they're little hard cardboard cards, so I can't really quite shuffle them. <clears throat> I have to kind of do it like this. So I just have to trust spirit that we're going to have the right card fall for Pisces. We'll start with Pisces men for my twin. Okay? Pisces men, the dress of alchemy. How does this apply for you? Travel. You find yourself in a transitional situation. Focus on who you are as you, as you are becoming, as you travel towards your destiny. Now you're traveling after that car in front of you, or you should be, right? The passion. You're supposed to be following your passion, but you're looking in the rearview mirror. What are you looking at? Something that's holding you back. What's holding you back? Focus on who you're becoming as you travel forward on your destiny. Emphasis on that. Okay? Let me see what the emphasis was about. Bliss. Follow your bliss. Song right now, what goes around comes around. You had me in the palm of your hand. Why your love went away, I just can't seem to understand. I thought it was you and me, babe. Me and you until the end. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. Can't believe it's ending this way. I'm so confused about it. Tell me, is this fate? Is this the way it's going down? Is this how we say goodbye? Yes. You find yourself in a transitional period. I should have known better. I knew you were going to make me cry. 
It's breaking my heart to see you run around because I know you're living a lie. Like that person that was connected to me in my past. He had several pages, right? He was probably seeing that other person the whole time he was with me, right? I didn't believe that. I, I, I would never have believed that that person was that kind of an energy. So Pisces men, you're letting go. Remember the ones that are going to fall away? I can't believe this is going, going on. Is this how we say goodbye? Yeah, that's why it's saying goodbye. Because the trash falls away. When you cut your energy, when you, when you are in your light, when you step into your divine power, the trash falls away. So travel towards your destiny. Focus on who you're becoming. Stop looking in the rearview mirror and move towards what you're passionate about. Pisces men. Correct for neutrality. Pisces women. I'm a Pisces woman. How does this apply to me? <clears throat> I was ready to give you my name. Thought it was me and you, babe. Me and you to the end. Guess I was wrong. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Pisces men. No, Pisces women. Pisces women, how does this affect you? The dress of alchemy about releasing your power. I've got to remember to, as soon as we finish this, I've got to whip out and go get Merlin a, um, a heater. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Pisces women are supposed to take action. Begin to build a bridge from where you are to where you want to be. Trust your abilities to take charge of your life because this is a call to action. No problem there. I know where I don't want to be and I know where I want to go. So what do we do? How do we see ourselves where we want to be? We visualize. We visualize ourselves with a clean energy circuit all the way around us, drawing towards us things that are in the light. We get rid of the dirt. We let the dirt fall away so that we can step into this powerful energy. Because look, you've got the whole time, you've got helpers the whole time. It's almost as though spirit was saying you knew all along that you were supposed to do that. Put a cork in it. Take that three-headed monster, that three-headed serpent, that third-party situation. Now, let me tell you, <clears throat> both of those people, my ex that I dated for a month and a half and this woman that I cut off, both of them were involved in three-party situations. The husband and, and the wife, they brought other people in. It was many, many years ago, 20 years ago. It was their past life, but they did it. He, same situation. He was married to a gay woman. He didn't know that. They were married for many, many years. She said, let's bring somebody else into our marriage. And he thought, yay, I get to have another woman in bed right on. Until he realized she didn't want him, she wanted the woman. So it did something to him. But both were involved in a third-party lifestyle, right? The person that called my work today was saying, I, I don't have, you know, I'm not sexually endowed. And it's caused a problem for me in my life. And so the woman that I'm with now, you know, she's wanting to bring somebody else in. I'm thinking maybe that'll help up our, you know, she says she just wants him there for, so that she's satisfied sexually. And the rest of us, and I said, are you insane? I don't invite other people in. You don't invite another person in. If you are into third-party situations, you won't be watching this spiritual page because this is not what spirit's okay with. It's not. It's not. It's not a spiritual union, okay? So what you see here is a three-headed monster, and you put a cork in that bottle, and it's done. It's gone. Out of here. So female water signs... Trust your ability to take charge of your life. It's a call to action. Build a bridge from where you are to where you want to be. Well, right now, your dress is covered in soot, right? But you've already taken action. You've put that three-headed monster in a bottle, and you've put a cork in it, right? And now, everything is going to fall away. The negative shit's going to fall away. Spirit said to us, we have no more blockages. The only blockage we had was ourself. And once we step into action, then we don't have a worry with that. So that was Pisces. So now we go to Sue, we go to Cancer. Cancer men, how does the dress of alchemy apply in your life? Cancer men. Correct neutrality. Cancer men, children. Okay, create space for your children to play in your life. Whether you have children or you want children, you're being asked to connect your innocent light knot. Be playful. So release your power. So release your power. Is there something that happened in your childhood that's causing a blockage? Do you have a problem between you and a child in your family, a brother, a sister? There's got to be something that needs to be taken care of that needs to be cleaned up. You need to say, you know what, as far as my work, I need more. I need more free time. I need to have time to play in my life. Cancer. We're talking the cancer sign. Cancer men. Okay. So cancer men. I need space 
I need time to play with my children. I need personal time. I need time to connect to my inner child. I'm going to release my power. I'm covered in soot. I'm freaking Cinderella and I don't like it. I don't have time to play with my kids. I don't have time to, to nurture my own inner child. And I'm being asked to do so. Now, you're also being asked to lighten up and be more playful. So, are you putting a cork in, in your, are, are you being all business, all work, no play, no play? You need to strike a balance. So that's cancer men. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. Maybe you need to unleash the child inside you. See that inside there, the three-headed monster? That wants to come out and play. Okay? So unleash whatever it is that you're holding inside because you're working nonstop. Correct for neutrality on level. Cancer women. Family. What role would you like to have within your family? Allow your life to find meaning through creating or deepening family ties. Take your power. What role do you want to have? Do you want to be the one that's lording over everyone, controlling everyone, or do you want to have a family that's loving and happy and joyful? You need to create your family ties. You need to deepen your family ties. You need to create them first before you can deepen them, right? And right now, there's either something that needs to be released in order for you to do that or needs to be corked in order for you to do that. What is it? Release your power. You have the ability to do this. What do you want as far as a family? Visualize it. Get rid of the ones that don't matter. Get rid of the energy drainers. Get rid of the toxic energy. Is it toxic thoughts? Is it toxic friends? Are you being toxic in your family? Is someone else? This is about deepening and clearing family ties song right now you've been talking in your sleep things you never say to me tell me that we're broken not tell me we're bent not broken now you've been talking things in your sleep things you never say to me that's a message to me right the things that I would watch and I would say there's no way my twin would do that there's no way I know my twin there's no way he would do that but I'm watching all of this why am I seeing all of this well I didn't see his face I just assumed it was him because it was clearly someone connected to me no you've been talking in your sleep saying things you never say to me because it isn't me we're not broken we're just got bent and we need to straighten it out correct for neutrality on all levels we did cancer men we did cancer women so now we're gonna do Scorpio men Scorpio men how does the dress of alchemy and re re releasing your power or claiming your power apply? Doubt. Your worries are simply red flags, alerting you that your thoughts have fallen out of alignment with what you truly want. Shift your focus now to the best possible solution or situation. So, that guy's making fun of me. That woman's going to beat the shit out of me. She's going to beat me up if I do this or if I say this. Whatever it is. You've got doubt about a situation and spirit saying you have power. You don't have to have doubt. Doubt is, is something that is telling you that something's wrong. It's the same thing as fear. If I start fearing something, I'm out of balance. <clears throat> okay, so clear your energy because you've fallen out of alignment. You need to focus your, your outlet back to the best possible solution. You have this power. You have the all-seeing eyes behind you to help you. Clean up your toxic field. Your toxic energy is what's causing you to doubt. And it's causing you to either doubt that you have the ability to do something, the ability to move forward, whatever it is, it's doubt. So shift your focus and, and say, I've got power. I've got the ability to do this. I've got the ability. Okay? That was Scorpio women. Did I do Scorpio men? I heard yes. Oh God, I, I can't, I can't, I just heard we will come clean. <sighs> okay, so Scorpio, I can't remember if I did Scorpio men. Usually I started with the men, so I feel like I did. I heard you did. So I'm, if I didn't, I'm, I'm going to do one more. And if this is not for Scorpio, this is just going to be, this is just going to be a message that you're going to have to intuitively decide if this is your message. And it's not going to be from that deck, okay? It's going to be from these. So if I did do Scorpio Man, this is for all of us to intuitively decide, is this your message or is it not? If you are meant to get this message and it resonates with you, it answers a question that you had, you'll know the message is for you. If it makes you feel bad, it's, it's not for you. Okay, if it gives you, now sometimes we don't like a message and it is our message, but 
it can't bring a, a sense of fear, okay? It's guidance here. And if you get something, it doesn't mean it can't be shifted. So, correct for neutrality on all levels. Whoever this is meant to get, this message, forgive me. Please forgive me, okay? Somebody's asking forgiveness, and one fell on the floor. Allow yourself to heal is the answer, okay? I will tell you right now, I don't hate anyone. I don't hate the person I blocked. I don't hate my ex. I don't hate anyone. I just want my spiritual path to be clean and clear. So someone's asking for forgiveness. And I say I forgive. All right, now we're going on. If that was Scorpio men, if that was Scorpio men, Release your power. Someone's asking you for forgiveness, okay? Maybe this has been the toxic energy that's been on you, that's been connect like me, that shit that glommed on to me, and someone's saying, please forgive me. Okay, forgiven. That's what you're being asked to do. Someone's asking you to forgive them. You can forgive someone. It doesn't mean you have to bring them back into your life. <clears throat> so now we go to... So we've done fire, we've done water. We go to air, which is the red hawk which is interesting. So I'm a Gemini rising. That makes sense. Yeah, it's an air sign, and I am the Red Hawk. I am the messenger. So I'm taking this message personally. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the Red Hawk or air sign. The signs are already with you. You already know. It's not that the signs haven't been with you. It's not that you haven't been given the signs over and over again. It's you it's you're refusing to see them. It's kind of like me. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. I didn't want to believe that that... I, I, I didn't see my ex as the person that was sucking my energy. I didn't. But I didn't want to believe that, that, was, that she was a negative energy. But the signs are all there. Okay? But this is also in a positive. The signs are already with you. You've been asking for spirit. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You've been shown. There's an imprint. This angel... This angel's got black wings, and she's soaking wet, and she's the one who left the mark in the snow. Okay? She's a little bit pissed off right now. She's a little bit annoyed. She's like, I'm soaked. My feathers are wrecked. I've proven myself again and again and again and again and again, and you still don't believe that I'm here. I'm standing here out in the cold. I don't like it here in the cold. This is where I'm at. Angels, they're with you. Where are my signs? Where are my guides? Where are my angels? They're all around you. I put my hand in my pocket yesterday when I was up in the mountains. I haven't worn that um, vest for, I don't even know the last time I wore it. I took my hand out and there was, it was filled with white feathers. Whenever feathers appear, angels are near. We have human angels walking. I am an angel. I am an angel. That's why I call my page the Angels Whisper. I am an angel walking. I worked with the angels when I was in spirit and it's my job here as well. I am an earth angel. There's a lot of earth angels in your life, but signs that you've been asking for, you're getting them. You just don't want to believe that they're there. So spirit will show you again if you ask, and maybe you just need a little bit more clarity. Sometimes we get nervous. Sometimes fear comes in, creeping in, and we start to doubt. So let's ask again, whatever. Okay, can you show me again? Did I make the right decision? Can you show me again? Who is the one that I call the love of my life? Is that the love of my life? Is that when he speaks, that person on the radio saying, don't you know that you're the love of my life? Am I seeing the right person? Are we speaking to the same people, right? Am I speaking to him and him to me? Whatever the message is, is it someone that I didn't understand? Whatever it is, whatever it is, ask spirit for sign again. They'll show you again. They'll show you again. It doesn't mean that the signs aren't there. It doesn't mean the angels aren't there. It means you're refusing to see them. Correct for neutrality. This is air signs. Correct for neutrality. Um... Gemini. We'll start with Gemini, since I said I'm a Gemini rising. How does this apply to you? Oh, God. I was supposed to do male and female, right? Okay, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, so Gemini males. I thought I didn't do it for Scorpio, but I did. Scorpio, male and female. Okay, so I'm starting with male. Gemini, males. How does the snow angel apply to you? Wow, I got a big message in that. How does the snow angel apply to you? Okay, let's just see. Children, create space for play in your life. Whether you already have children or you want children, you're being asked to connect your innocence. Light not be playful. The signs are already with you about a child. I said, Gemini, the snow angel is with you. Wow. 
The snow angel is with you. My twin is an angel. Snow is frozen emotion. The snow angel is with you, Gemini, as a message to myself. Create space for children. Or lighten up your energy and be a little bit more playful. Connect to the innocence. The signs are with you. There's something about children. You know what this is implying to in your life. The signs are with you. Is the child yours? Do you have to lighten up your energy? Do you need to play more? Do you, is there someone coming into your life as a child? Is there someone that you weren't calling a child that you know is your child? Do you need to be a little bit more light with your child? This is, this is Gemini men, okay? The signs are with you. Create a space. Are you not giving your time to your child, whether it be a physical child or your own inner child? Gemini women, how does this apply to you? The signs are already with you, Gemini women. Correct for neutrality. This is strange for me because my spiritual twin's mother and brother are Geminis, and I'm a Gemini rising. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. Gemini women, how does this apply to you? Regret. <clears throat> Gemini women, you're dragging around this bag of regret, regret, right? Or maybe, so you're sitting down there with this bag of regret, and there's a celebration in front of you if you would drop that bag of regret and move forward. Or, you feel like you've missed something. You've missed something out there, right? And you're sitting down here in regret over something that you've missed. And because of that, something happened. You don't want to try again. You're staying down there. Everything happens for a reason. So step, let's take the steps. What steps do you need to take? Because there's opportunities around you. You're dwelling on an opportunity and you're living in regret. You're carrying around a bag of garbage. Your shirt is off, right? You're exposed. You're exposed and I've got this big bag of regret sitting here and there's celebration and fun, but I need to take the steps in order to get there. Do you have an issue with alcoholism? Do you need to take the steps? Do you have, what steps do you need to take in order to have a celebra celebration in your life? What do you need to drop in order to take the steps? Something that happened in the past? Something that you feel that you missed? Something that you regret happening? There's, there's the reason for celebration. If you will take these steps, you will have celebration. You will if you let go of whatever this is that you've been dragging around. This is also a bag of dirty laundry, right? Your shirt is off. You had to wash your shirt. It's in the bag of laundry. Do your dirty laundry. You do your dirty laundry yourself. Do your dirty laundry. Wash it. Don't hold yourself in the past. There's challenges in front of you. There are, but you need to take the steps in order to clean that dirty laundry. Clean that dirty laundry. Bring it out of that bag. There will be reasons for celebrations if you can do this. <clears throat> Correct for neutrality on all levels. Um... The signs are already with you. Dirty laundry. The signs are already with you. The snow angel is with you. I'm thinking addiction. Do you have an addiction issue? The snow angel. Snow is cocaine, right? Is there somebody in your family? Is that family laundry? Is that dirty laundry that needs to be exposed? Is that need to come out in the open? Are you dragging around something? Is there regret over something to do with that? You know what this message is for yourself. There will be reasons for celebration if you take the steps, whatever they are. <clears throat> um, so that was Gemini. So now we go to Libra. Libra men. The snow is, the snow is with you. <laughs> the snow angel. The signs are with you. Correct for neutrality on all levels. The signs are with you. Libra men. Balance. That's very intriguing, considering the fact that Libra is all about balance, right? It's about Lady Justice. So the signs are all with you, right? Something needs to be balanced. The scales need to be balanced. Somebody's giving too much, and somebody is not giving enough. Nothing. Something needs to be in balance. If you tip it one way too far, it falls out of alignment. So you need to come back to the middle. The signs are already with you. There is no balance in this situation. You don't have to give, 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 but you don't, but you don't, you can't expect others to, to give, give, give as well. You need to strike a balance. The signs are with you. It's very clear. It's time for karma to be balanced. It's also telling you justice is going to be balanced. Justice is balanced. Lady Justice is sitting there. There's a healing that's taking place. Passionate curtains held back. Things are a little foggy, but justice will take pay, place. That was Li Libra. 
I didn't say who it was. Libra men or women. That was women. Libra men. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I don't know why that was women, but it was. Libra men. Correct for neutrality on all levels. If I've said Libra men, we're getting another one. Forgiveness. The signs are already with you. Forgiveness is the most powerful tool you have. It takes away your burden that you're carrying around and it allows for a healing to occur. You all, all you have to do is be willing to forgive. It's all, remember that once person, the, the message came out, please forgive me. Someone is asking for forgiveness. So you have to be willing. And your willingness to forgive will create a space for miracles to occur. Angels are telling you that. The signs are already with you. Now this is you or someone else. Does, do you need to ask for someone's forgiveness? The signs are already with you. It'll let go of the burden that you've been carrying. Forgiveness is the main key here. So if you're willing to forgive or be forgiven, allow spirit to let to do the rest of it. They do the work. We just do our step. That's it. <clears throat> Aquarius. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Aquarius. How does the snow angel apply in your life? Action. Build a, begin to build a bridge from where you are to where you want to be. Trust your abilities to take charge of your life. This is a call to action now. This is an energetic connection. This is somebody literally pulling their energy together and moving. So where are you and where do you want to go? Song right now, I need a girl like you when I come through. Well, somebody's being called to action. The sign is already with you. It's you that needs to take action, not somebody else. You're being told to trust your abilities to take charge of your life. This is a call to action for you to build a bridge from where you are to where you want to be, not somebody else for you. The signs are overloading. They're there. That's Aquarius men. Aquarius women, how does this apply for you? Correct for neutrality. Aquarius women, how does this apply for you? Correct for neutrality. Worthiness. There's nothing that is too good for someone like you. Know that you deserve the best. Life gives you everything you need to be happy. The signs are with you. It's time to pamper yourself. You deserve it. You deserve it. You are worthy. I said in my, I, I was in, uh, up in Idlewild yesterday, and I said I got everything I wanted. I got my deer, I got my dinner that I wanted, I got my Earl Grey tea. I wasn't asking for the moon. I, I am asking for the moon. I'm asking for my Pisces moon. But yesterday, I wanted pasta, I wanted Earl Grey tea, I wanted to get my deer. I got everything I wanted. I was gonna go down and check through this motorhome. I didn't get the motorhome, so they sold it as I got there, but I got to go through it, look at it, see what I wanted. Everything I got, I wanted. Why? Because I deserved it. And I know I deserved it. I deserved it. I wasn't shooting for the moon at that moment. I was shooting for reality, right? So there's nothing too good to be true for someone as wonderful. You Aquarius women, know, or Aquarius men, <clears throat> know that you, did, that's just Aquarius women. Aquarius women, you deserve it. Life gives you everything you need to be happy. I got everything I needed to be happy that day, right? Now what I said was I wasn't shooting for the moon. I was shooting for something realistic, right? Well now I'm, t I'm gonna take that back and realize, you know what? I, I, can, I don't have to shoot for realism, realism. I can shoot for what I deserve. I deserve the moon. I deserve it. That's what I want. That's what I deserve. How it gets to me, I don't know. I deserve that camper van. That camper van was perfect. It was clean. It was exactly the size. I could have driven it all around. I loved it. I didn't have cash in hand. I went to look at it to put my energy out there, and I thought, you know what? I deserve that. I deserve something at least that nice, if not nicer. Let the universe figure it out. That's what we do. So right now, um, baby, I know that I'm drunk. Baby, I know you're the one. Maybe I'm thinking it's better if you drive. Um, so now we're going to go to Earth Signs, which is... I can't even read my writing. I scribbled it down. So we did the woman was fire sign. We did the sky, which is Earth sign, uh, water signs. So water and earth connected, connected together makes sense to me since my twin is earth as well as water. Um, air signs was the red hawk and the earth signs were the horse. Okay, so that makes sense. That was a message to me. I'm riding on my horse. I'm riding on my hearse. I'm riding on my horse. Right? Peaceful, healing, loving. It's going to carry me. Why? Because I'm tired and I deserve it. Okay, so correct for neutrality on all levels. Earth signs are those who chose the horse. The horse that was grazing, right? No more grazing if you want to be in my life. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Earth signs are those who chose the horse. 
time for you to be your own true self. Grumpy Red Fairy, if you feel like being happy, be happy. If you feel like smiling, smile. If you don't feel good, you don't feel good. If you don't want to dress the way they want you to dress, you don't dress the way you, they want you to dress. If you want to have your hair down to your ass and you're a guy, grow your hair down to your ass. If you don't, don't. If you want to bear, wear a beard, grow a beard. This is asking you to be your true, authentic self. Because if we're not our true, authentic self, we will draw fakes to us. We draw to us who we are, right? So I'm going to be who I am, honest, outspoken, standing my, in my truth and in my integrity, and I will draw that to me. I'm not going to draw wishy-washy people who put up with bullshit to me because I am, th I am not that. So this is what they're telling you to do. Earth signs, be your true authentic self. Don't try and be what someone else wants you to be because you're faking it. Don't be a fake. Be the truth of who you are. Song right now, all my friends are heathens. Take it slow. You don't know the half, you know, don't make any sudden moves. You don't know the half of the abuse. All my friends are heathens. If your friends are heathens, why are you with them? That's not who you are, right? So this is not about playing by the rules. This is not about doing what people are telling you to do. This is about being free to express yourself as you are. Play, have fun, stand in your truth. If you don't like the way something is going, you tell them that. You don't be passive aggressive and hope they get it. You, otherwise you're going to have toxic shit like I had all over me, right? So be who you are. Sometimes people look at somebody and they think, ooh, and they're the sweetest, most loving people in the world. Other times, you look at someone, you think they're a spiritual person, and lo and behold, you find out they're a sex addict, and they're dating a witch. Really? Be who you truthfully are. Don't pretend to be something else. I don't like masks. I don't like players. I don't like gamers. No more playing. Be who you are. You know, if you don't like me, that's cool. You don't have to hang out with me. I'm not going to fake it to try and be your friend, okay? That's what that's the that's the energy that we want to have, right? We don't want to fake it. What you want to know the difference between a fiend and a friend, right? So let's go to male capricorns. How does the grumpy red fairy apply to you? I just heard there's a healing taking place. Aloha healing. I just heard. Aloha is something that says hello and goodbye at the same time. <laughs> There's a hello and goodbye healing taking place. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Capricorn men. Love. It's about self-love. It's focusing on your greatest qualities. Everything that makes you lovable. Loving yourself for who you are, which is pretty amazing since we were just told to be who you are, right? Don't, where's the card? I shuffled it away. I'm an automatic shuffler. <laughs> Next! Right? I shuffle you away, you're out. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You've been shuffled right on out of my life. Correct for neutrality. Hold on, i got to find it. But it's the grumpy red fairy. The grumpy red fairy is going to be authentically, truthfully who they are. Right? They're not going to fake it. They're going to be who they are. They're going to be nice when they feel nice. That doesn't mean you're going to be mean. But, you know, if you don't feel like smiling, you, 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 don't, you don't feel... I, I, don't, I don't like this movie. I'm not going to pretend I like this movie. I'm not enjoying it. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and listen to gossip. It's not my thing. It's not what I do. I'm not going to sit here and entertain. That's interesting. You know, that person that wrote to me on my psychic hotline, it's a chat line. So they call and then it's like, you know, I, I text them. They wanted to talk about sex it, and under the guise of, oh, issues. No, it was the sex addict wanting to talk about sex so he could get off on it, right? I could have sat there and made a lot of money. I let the person go on for 27 minutes. Because I had to make sure it was the same person, and it was. And then I thought, I'm not a hooker. I'm not a prostitute. I'm not going to pretend to like this, because I don't. And when you hang up on people on that, you know, they can leave nasty comments. That person actually left me positive feedback. <laughs> so, grumpy red fairy, be who you truthfully are. Find the qualities in yourself that make you lovable. Oh, the song that's playing right now, You Say. It talks about, you say I'm strong when I feel I'm weak. You say that I am... When I feel that I'm alone, you say that I'm yours. When I feel like I don't belong. You know, this is what Spirit's talking about right now. You need to love yourself as you are. If you're a gay man living a straight life, that's not going to work for you. You're going to attract straight people to you. There's going to be confusion and problems. Be a gay man. Be who you are. Right? Then you'll draw to you people like you. Somebody that you could have a relationship with. Not to mention you could don't have to hide who you are. So find the qualities in yourself that make you lovable. 
You are a powerful magnet and you're drawing love into your life at this moment just for who you are. You may think that someone wouldn't be attracted to me. You be who you are. I was in the grocery store months and months, oh God, a couple years ago. And there were these two girls in front of me. They were dressed outrageously. They were funny. They were extremely heavy, both of them. Big women. Like they were, they would have taken me out, man. They were big. They were running, they were, they were riding on the back of the, of the, of the shopping carts. They were laughing. They were having so much fun. They were picking on all this food. They were obese. They were, they were obese. And they were loving the food that they had. Both of them. They were, they drew each other. They drew each other somebody like themselves that they could be dressed the same way they could eat all the food they didn't care that they got obese that's who they were i'm not saying it's okay to get obese but that was their life they drew to whom them who they were they weren't hiding <coughs> they live in canyon lake just like i do right where everybody's going around with a barbie body no everybody doesn't have a barbie body you be who you are so now we go to capricorn women correct for neutrality on all levels how does this apply to you, being your true self? Capricorn women. Bondage. You're all tied up in knots because you're thinking negatively. You need to replace your negative expectations with your positive expectations. And then you have rapid change in your life. Prepare for rapid change when you release yourself from the bondage of trying to please other people. From trying to be something that you're not. Whatever you're doing, it's your own doing. You have bound yourself up. No one's holding you back but you. You have negative thinking. Stop it now. Spirit says stop it now. Stop. Challenge yourself to expect the best of yourself and not the worst. And expect the best from other people. Positive expectations. And then you'll see rapid change in your life. Virgo men. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Virgo men. Someone's invading your space, your boundaries. I see dominance. You feel violated. Correct for neutrality. Virgo men. How does this <coughs> apply to you? A gift. Virgo men, that which you long for most deeply is here. It's knocking at your door. Love is knocking. Challenge yourself to open the door. This gift is meant for you. Be your authentic, this person or this, whatever this is, this love that's coming, they like you who you are. They want you to be who you are. Shine bright like a diamond. I choose, I choose to be happy. You and I are like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star. I see a vision of ecstasy. Look at these two. When you hold me, I'm alive. You are loved for who you are. I knew that we would become one right away. Love, challenge yourself, open the door. This gift is meant for this one. I knew, I felt the energy. Look at the psychic antenna. You make my hair stand on end. Breathe it in. This gift is yours. It's knocking at the door. Open it up. And you know what happened when I said that? Siam came out of his little house. So that was my message. The one that sat there, that I said was the love of my life, I am the love of his life too. So the gift is knocking at your door, Virgo. Man, open the door. They love you for who you are. Authentically, truthfully yourself. So be who you truthfully are. Honestly, authentically. Don't do what other people want you to do. This gift is yours. You're being challenged to open up the door. Do it. Virgo women. Thinking, I'm wondering if I have any Virgo women friends. I'm trying to think. Virgo women. Virgo women. Correct for neutrality. Virgo women. How does this apply for you? Ha! Same thing. That's pretty cool. Now that's interesting because the divine feminine and the masculine, right? Attraction. Get ready and stay open to possibilities. You are a powerful magnet. Drawing the perfect people and situations into your life now. But only if you are your authentic true self. As you are your authentic true self, you sit there and you say, I am the magnet, they are steel, and they're going to come to me, boo! Just like I said, I don't care how spirit does it. That motorhome is mine. I deserve, the, I deserve a good one, right? I deserve it. It's coming. I don't know how, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to sit there. I'm going to do my job that spirit tells me to do. I'm not going to expect everything to land in my lap. I'm going to do what I'm asked to do, and then I'm going to allow it to come to me. 
And that's what you're being told to do. If you are authentically, truthfully yourself, you will draw to you the perfect people, opportunities, situations. So allow it. Get ready and stay open right now. You're drawing this to you now as you are your authentic, truthful self. Very cool. So that was Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Taurus men. How does this apply in your life? Hi, Mama's boy. He's down there having manicure. Hi. Correct for neutrality. He's got a little bit of a head cold right now. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Taurus men. Control. Well, every time I see this one, this one thinks she's in control and she's not. So, we only see what we're ready to see and we can only follow rules that we understand. So surrender the illusion that you're in control of anyone, including yourself, and allow life to surprise you. So, are you grumpy? Are you trying to control everybody and everything? Is something being tried to be expressed to you and you're not understanding it? Because this is you or someone else in your life, right? There may be someone else that wants to be their own true self and you're trying to control them. So is someone trying to control you or are you trying to control somebody else? Because nobody gets to control another person. Surrender that illusion. Somebody that tries to control you has an extreme case of fear. Nobody tries to control another person if they are comfortable with themselves. So let go of control. Allow people to be their own true selves and you allow yourself. Don't allow anyone to control you. That was pretty clear. Correct for neutrality on all level. Taurus, women. How does this apply for you and your lives? I know that you just want attention. You don't want my love. You just want attention. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Taurus, women, home. Make sure your home feels welcoming and reflects who you are. Are you being a grumpy bitch? When your house is in order, the rest of your life falls into place. So tidy up. Okay, you can be whoever you want, but if your house is a complete disaster, it's going to tell you that your insides are a complete disaster. So your house, it also means get your house in order, like with me, right? I got my house in order today. I blocked and deleted two people, right? That was the energetic drain on my life. That was getting my house in order. When I send that message out to the universe, I'm saying to the universe, I don't allow you to cross my boundaries. Even if you are a friend, even if you are an ex-love of mine, you will not cross my boundaries and fuck up my internal revenue. I'm sorry, I put far too much into myself. I've worked far too hard. So, for you, get your house in order. What do you need to do? Maybe you need to be grumpy and, and like I was. I was harsh. I was. I tried, I tried, I tried. It wasn't being heard. Finally, it was just, we're done. We're done. So, get your house in order. You can make sure that it's welcoming, but you can't be welcoming the wrong kind of people. So, either don't be a bitch and pushing people away. Clean your house up if it's a complete disaster or get your house in order and let people know, you know what, I'm sorry, I don't approve of this. This isn't who I am. This isn't what I want. It's not welcome. Whatever is the case, it's your house. So tidy it up. Get it in, in order and it all works well. All right, that's it, you guys. My throat, it's like I got a sore throat, which is interesting because he's got a head cold. He's been sneezing. My throat is sore. Um, I was doing sage earlier today. It was for burning sage, but uh, sage doesn't normally do that to me. So, and I said to my client today, I had a, I had a really nice call with my one of my clients who's feeling like a friend, and she's been really, really working. She's been the mama bear, you know, sending all kinds of love into her dragonfish, just like I have, right? And she she went to yoga and she's trying to take care of herself, and they, he just dumped all over her, you know, just dumped a shit all over her, and she was just like. Ugh had the, the wind knocked out of her sails. And I said the exact same thing as I said about Merlin in the tank. I said, you know, we're putting all of our love and energy into someone who's struggling. And we, we want to be that, but, but we can't take on their shit. We can be, and we can't help them if we allow ourselves to get run down. So I'm focusing on Merlin, 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 and, and I realize, my God, I'm the one in, in the front and I've got no warmth, I'm freezing. My, my tank's got mildew and mold that I need to clear up. I need to clean my house up and I need to warm up my own self. I said, so you do what you need to do to take care of yourself. <clears throat> and when you, your energy lifts, your vibration lifts, then the vibration of the one that you love is lifting as well. That's how you can help that one. You can't help that one by taking on their, uh, on their shit. Now, my throat is sore. So I'm going to be, and I'm thinking about Merlin. Because, I mean, uh, Merlin. I said Merlin, right? I'm thinking about Siam, which is a, another messenger uh, a mirror of my twin. Merlin and Siam are my twin, okay? I'm getting a sore throat. So, time to take care of me. 
and when and and that doesn't mean I can't be there for my twin. I love him. I I, I but I can't take on his stuff. I got to take care of me. He's not here taking care of me, right? Told you. I need a lift. Why? Because I deserve it. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. I'm gonna add a wrap. I'm gonna upload this. I hope that you're having a a beautiful day. It's like uh I don't know what time is it. Five fifty-five. Check it out. A significant change is occurring in our life. Always for the better. Good idea to call upon spirit for help with these changes. But geez, at 5.55, it's pitch black outside. Look at this. I got to put on something warm. Some warm sockies and a warm coat and go buy a heater for my little fish. My Siamese fighting fish. <laughs> Think about Siamese twins, right? Oh, wow. I could just go on. All right. I love you guys. I'll speak soon.